As someone who works with extensively with data engineering and web scraping, I constantly have to upload different data sets directly to different databases based on the database system that my clients are using. So in this tutorial, I'm going to share how I use SQL Alchemy and Pandas to upload raw data files directly to a database system. So here I prepared a CSS file. Let's assume that this is the raw data file that I want to upload directly to my database system. Now in terms of the database system that I'm using, I'm using SQL Server. All right, so let me drop this table here. RUI deals. All right, so if I try to select the REI deals table, I'm going to get the invalid object name followed by the table name. Now open a blank Python script. Now from the import statement, first we need to import the pandas module. Now, because SQL Server uses ODBC to uh, directly connect to the database. Now, based on the database system that you're using, and I'll post the link to uh, this page in the description below. All right, so basically you want to look for the connection string based on the database system that you're using. Now, SQL Alchemy supports a variety of databases, such as PostgreSQL, MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, SQLite, and several others. Now, because I'm using SQL Server, I'm going to click into Microsoft SQL Server. Now, here you want to look for the uh, connection string. So for PYODBC, so this is going to be uh, the driver name followed by the connection string. Now, going back to the script, here I'm going to import the PYPYODBC module as ODBC. Then I'm going to import the SQL Alchemy module. And from SQL Alchemy, I'm going to import the create engine function. And to create a connection, we we'll need to create a URL object. All right, so here I'm going to prepare my variables to uh, set up my connection. So here's my server name, my database name, and the driver name. For Postgres, so here you need to specify the driver name, username, password, hosting address, and the database name. Now here I'm going to use the URL class that create method to uh, create my connection string. So inside the create method, I'm going to specify the drive name to MySQL followed by the Python module that I'll be using to set up my connection. Now query is going to be where you're going to construct your uh, connection string. So here from the connection string, we need to set up the driver, server name, and the database name. And the key needs to be odbc underscore connect. And we need to use the query parameter to set up the connection string. And to establish the connection, so here using the create engine function, we'll pass the connection URL followed by the module that we'll be using to create the connection. So here I need to set the module to odbc. Now here let me go ahead and uh, run this code mainly to create the engine object. Now, because I don't intend to write any uh, SQL statement to create a table, I simply just want to upload the data set directly. So here I can use pandas library to load the data file. Now from the pandas library, there's a very useful method called to SQL. So if we look at the uh, parameters, so name is going to be the table name, and I'll name my table REI deals. Connection is going to be the engine object that set up the connection. And the if exists is parameter. So basically you can use this parameter to control if a table already exists, uh, what action do you want to take? So here we have three actions. We can either append the records to the existing table, or we can replace the table uh, entirely, or we can raise an exception if the table already exists. And because I don't want to import the index, so I'm going to set the index to false. Now SQL Alchemy doesn't detect the uh, they are typed correctly 100% of the time. So sometimes you may want to manually specify the field they are type. So here we can use SQL Alchemy types followed by the data types that you want to uh, use, followed by the data type. So for the product title uh, column, I want to set this to far chart and I want to set the current element to 255. 
Now, if you don't provide a kilter limit size, then it's going to uh, set the kilter size limit to max. And if you want to convert the uh, data type to other than far chart, then uh, there's a couple others, such as integer, floats, or boolean, and so on. Now, this is everything we need to write to uh, create the utility script. And if I go ahead and run this code block from the uh, DF creation to DF to SQL uh, execution. Now, based on the uh, file size, it may take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. And it looks like the test is finished. Now, if I go into my SQL Server database, now this time if I run the select statement, and that will return uh, the entire data set based on the system file that I uploaded using pandas. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please post your feedback and your question in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.